Jonah. It's a good question, man. It's a good question. I'm going to speak on it, though. And I know what you're talking about. you like, well, where are all the people who spoke on the Devin Haney Lomachenko fight coming out the woodwork speaking on the fight? And yet this go down for Daniel. And don't nobody say nothing. You are now realizing what I have been seeing the entire damn time. It's a harsh truth, but nonetheless, you on my channel is still the truth. Man, the reason why you don't see these guys talking, the reason why you ain't seeing Nelly coming out and speaking on this, the reason why you ain't seeing uh, who else came out and said something, Shakur Stevenson uh, come out and speak on this, because most black people in, um, in every black boxer in boxing are cowards. All of them. Sorry. When it comes to stuff like that in which you're talking about, every last one of them are cowards. When I say every last one, I mean every last one of them, including the ones that I love. It's only one boxer that stands like a man out of the whole league. And do you know who that is? Wilder. I always said it from the beginning. I, I always praise Wilder for speaking his mind. People don't know how much he goes against the grain when he does that. You really don't. But that's one thing I always liked about Wilder always liked him and that's one of the main reasons I don't mess with Keith Thurman that's one of the main reasons I don't mess with Keith Thurman it's one of the main reasons although I like him I don't mess with Shakur Stevenson I don't care if he don't get the support I don't care if people don't rally behind him I don't care if he don't get the fights that he's looking for unfortunately just off a of principle standard but from a boxing standard, you know, what I'm saying, I, you know, I, I like the kid. I hope he get all that he want. But from the way he been moving and what he been saying and the pandering he been doing, I don't care nothing about him. That's how I pretty much feel about 98 percent of the boxers, black boxers in boxing. They cowards, bro. You know, now I'm not expecting nobody else to really say nothing. But this is the thing that Tarver talked about. Tarver had to come out and say, man. To see Devin Haney get hated on by his own like that was totally disgusting. Now, this low blow is heard around the world. Those same people who wanted to speak on Lomachenko and Devin Haney are super silent on this. And why is that? Once again, you got to understand that the world that you live in, okay? Bowing down to white supremacy has rewards. Just as a content creator, they know all about it. For the same reason, I'm going to put it like this. For the same reason you don't hear those people speaking about everything, it's the same reason a content creator will avoid certain conversations and not say certain things or pander and kiss butt to certain boxers. Nobody wants to piss off the racists. That's the funny thing about this. You guys are walking on eggshells for racist people. That's why I always make sure I do an unpopular video. See, that's how I can tell when I know what you're about. When I know that you drop a video that won't necessarily be popular, won't necessarily get a lot of views, but it's on your mind and it's on your heart and you want it to be said. So you're going to put it out there anyway. Some people, they're only going to put out what they think that you're going to like. And once again, unfortunately, that's the majority of black content creators. They're cowards, too. That's why. Whenever they get to talking that brother, brother stuff with me. Talk about, oh, man, don't say nothing about Earl. Don't, brother, brother, that's your brother. That, that's your brother. That brother, brother shit is bullshit. You can go ahead and believe in that brother, brother bullshit. If you want to, they'll end up stabbing you in the fucking back. Because there's plenty of times that I just don't take a stand for myself, that I just don't take a stand for a channel, that I just don't take a stand for people. I take a stand for everybody, including my own, and you guys won't support me because I said something about Errol. 
Because once upon a time I said something about Deontay Wilder. You guys don't like me and don't fuck with me to this day just for that. Even though I speak on issues that affect all of us. Even though I speak on issues that your favorite content creator won't fucking touch. But y'all hate me. That's why I don't fall for that brother brother bullshit. It's a facade. It's not fucking real. They're fucking cowards. All of them. And I know that may piss some people off. Man. Well, I know he ain't talking about me. I don't know. No, no, no. Hey, shh. If you're guilty, you squirming. But I'm not shocked. But this is also why the situation for black fighters in general in boxing, it'll never get no better because they don't take up for each other. They do the Shakur Stevenson. They'll speak up to speak against you, but they won't speak up to speak for you. Who was Terrence Crawford's biggest hater? They, they were all black people. Who else was it? Terrence Crawford's main rivals was his own. Terrence Crawford even said it. See, these black motherfuckers don't know how to play the fucking game. They don't understand. It don't matter how much you hate me. I realize that you don't hate me. But know this. When they're playing their game, they might not like each other, but they will stick together for the sake of fucking you over and mowing you down. That's what black people don't get. And they still do it. Still did it to Joshua. Just did it to Terrence Bo Crawford. And the next guy that they going to jump to hate on, it's going to be another black dude. So if you don't got people hating on black fighters simply because they black, you got black people who dislike it. Other black fighters not realize they treat all y'all the same. It's fucking real. It's annoying to see y'all this retarded. It is. That's exactly why I don't listen when y'all be talking that brother, brother bullshit. I don't listen to that crap. Because you'll stab me in the back. You'll stab Crawford in the back. There is no loyalty. You're not doing this because of race. You're not doing this because of comrade. So stop fronting and stop coming to me with it. Stop trying to be my brother when I'm stepping on somebody's neck that you can't defend. All right? Because just the way I talk alone is too truthful for the majority. And since most of y'all is fake, I know y'all don't like me. I'm just a channel that you can't pass up. You have to check in and see, well, what is he saying this time? I, I realize that about myself. I'm somebody that you're going to check in no matter what. You like him and this is because you just want to see what the hell coming out of his mouth. I know where my niches is. I know I don't really have real subscriber base. Motherfuckers really don't like me. There's no way. I speak too much truth. There's no way you like somebody that much and I speak this much truth. In the history of the world, that has never been the case. So I know what time it is, but if you're talking about that, man, I'm not shocked. And that's why they'll continue to get fucked over. That's why they can't get no just when it comes to Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury. That's why they don't give a fuck if somebody was putting plaster in their gloves. If that fighter was trying to fight a black dude, they're all for it. They don't care if Chino Madonna was taking pills um, in the middle of a boxing match sitting in the corner. They don't care if Canelo was doing it. As long as it's aimed towards you, they're not going to say anything. See, and the thing about the Daniel thing, this is the only thing you got to do to figure out how wrong it is. Just swap places. And you know the whole world would act up. Okay? If that, if, if Daniel Dubois would have been in Uzik's position, everybody in the world would be pissed. That's when you'll see a tweet from Shakur. That's when you see Nelly say something. That's when you see the person over here say something. That's how black people work, man. That's why I don't fuck with them. That's why at the end of the day, I live my life as a human being and nothing else. Times, do I do stand for shit? Yes, I do. You know what I'm saying? Because I still am this. But for the most part, man, I'm cool who, who cool with me. You know what I'm saying? You don't like me, I don't like you back. Point blank and period. We ain't got to get along and, and you ain't got to like me. But you are going to respect me. You feel me? But they cowards, bro. That's why that happened. I'm out.